Meow people, it's Myra. I'm back with another reveal. You're looking at a picture of my mom right now. I'm in my craft room on the sewing side. I have a project to share with you today. It was a swap with Miss Pam, the one and only Grand. Uh, we, were, we decided to swap miniatures. I've already seen what she made me and it is fabulous. I can't wait to get it in my grubby little hands and I know she's dying to see what I made her so uh, without, well, I'll, I'll prolong it a little longer. Here, I'll show you some stuff. Here's some owls I made recently. Excuse the cord hanging down there. That's for my light. That's a doll. This one, it's a doll I bought at a uh, flea market. This one is a doll my sister gave me from Branson, Missouri. Here's my cloth collection, part of it. I'm going through, excuse my messy side over here. I'm, I'm completely redoing my cloth side. Okay, I won't, I won't prolong it any longer. I know she's dying to see, so I've got it over here on my cutting table, so we'll pan over here. Here it is. There you go, Miss Pam. There is your miniature. It is a church. Hope you can see it okay. I know the background is kind of busy, but this is the only place I could could film it. And excuse, uh, ignore this green look here. That's just another smaller mat, uh, one of my cutting mats that I put it on so I can turn it easier. But there it is. Hope you can see it. It's got a little tower with a bell in it. Sorry, I'm filming this on my digital, so it's going to be kind of a choppy ride. See, it rings. We'll go around the front here. There's the front. Sorry, it's a little dark on this side. I don't have that good a lighting on this side. Hopefully you can see it. Excuse the rest of my messy room. That bag you see right there is my bag for recycling cans so ignore that look at the pretty church here it is hope you're getting a good view of it there's the front plate going up with a cross on the tower it's all kinds of different layers of it's made out of uh, recycled priority boxes. You can see Sis in the background over there flipping around. She's got some catnip on her tower and she's going nutty. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I put trim all around it. I like the way that came out. Uh, the shingles were done uh, a piece at a time. That was fun. And it does light up, but I'll show you that in a little bit. This is the cord. It, it, the lights had kind of a short little cord, so I'm I'm going to be sending along this extension cord with it. Because uh, I don't know if you have an extension cord or not, Pam. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. Been a busy day. Uh, let's see. Let's turn. Oh, I'm going to show you the lights. Hold on. This extension cord has a little cord over here. I don't know if you can see it or not with it lit up. Let me see. Hold on. You're going to zoom in real close because i got to lean over. Hang on. Oh. Maybe you can see it a little better now. Oh, let me get the other light off. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry about the, all this wobbling around. Here we go. Now maybe you can see it a little better. Well, I'll take some better pictures in a minute. But anyway, there it is lit up. And shall we go inside and see if there's anything going on? Let's get it turned around here. Alrighty, let's go in. First off, you see a little stand with a guest book there. Hmm, wonder what that could be. See the fancy little doors with the doorknobs? Uh-oh, looks like there might be a wedding. Yes, there's a wedding going on. Sorry about the, the flopping up and down. Let's see how close I can get. That's about as close as I can get. There it is. We have a wedding going on inside. We've got the happy groom and bride down there. 
under the flower filled arch. The room is lit up with joy and light. The pews have little pew bows on them and we have a little runner down the center there. As you can see the, the front doors here have doorknobs and door plates on them both sides. Here's the little guest book and I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, where's my little pokey thing? Probably can't see it but right here is a little feather sticking out. That's a feather pin for the the uh, guest book. I hope this is coming out clear enough. There's that. I've got little flower pots here up front. There they are. Front steps. Here we'll go up to the little plaque on the front. Tolliver Chapel is the name of it and it was established in 1979. Pam knows why. And now uh, we'll go to this side. As you can see these are there's cutouts on the, the main tower here and there's cutouts on the side and I have um, acrylic uh, plastic whatever you call it, acrylic sheets uh, and it's uh, covered with Mod Podge so it's kind of a frosty look you can't see in but you can see the light and if you want a better view of the inside this side of the roof lifts up and we can go inside get a little better view you see there's the happy bride and groom and if you can see she has flowers all the way around her gown and she's holding her bouquet and uh, if you can see just to the left of the groom down at the floor there's a little mouse peeking around had to add that for me Here's all the flowers around the archway. You can see all the little pews. And there's a cross in here. And as you can probably see over there, let me see if I can get a... I have to hold the roof up so I'm, I'm doing this kind of awkwardly. But over there in the corner you can see those two little things hanging on the wall. Those are fairies. And those represent um, Pam's daughter Stephanie and her granddaughter Harper. I would, I, if I uh, had, I, I didn't have a male fairy, so I, I couldn't put up the son-in-law, but we'll, we'll pretend he's represented there too. But since they weren't born at the time of her wedding, I wanted to at least include them as part of this, you know. But down there is a little shawl draped over the back. And let me switch hands here and I'll show you. Oh, down here is a little pair of gloves and a Bible laying on the bench. These are all glued in so they won't they won't come out. And that's pretty much it. I'll put some still pictures at the end so you can see it a little better, hopefully. But there is your miniature Pam. I hope you like it. I had a whole lot of fun making this and I know you love weddings and I know you're a Christian lady. Here's the back where the cord comes out. There's the back of the church. But there it is. Like I said I hope you like it. I hope it you know it's at least a little bit of what you expected and hoped for. I went with, I know your favorite colors are like mine, the black and the red, but I know you also like the Victorian colors, so I kind of went with that a little more uh, with the pinks and creams. So I hope that was okay. I think it turned out beautiful. You know, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it, but I think to date this is probably my favorite mini I've done. I probably won't be doing any more for a while, so <laughs> this was fun to do. And it's, I did't know if I showed you the steeple up here. But as you can see, it's quite large. This mat it's sitting on here, where's my hand, there, is a 24 inch by 36 inch. So you can see how, how big it is. It's about 22 inches tall or so. So I'm, I'm having trouble finding the box to fit it, to, to 
ship it to you so hopefully I'll find one or I'll have to make one or something but hopefully I can get it to you pretty soon but here's another look inside a happy couple but that's it folks uh, Pam I hope you like it thanks for swapping with me I had a fabulous time and I admire you so much I, I really enjoyed this thank you so much till next time people uh, don't forget to stay tuned for the still pictures meow for now